Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a comparison and review of the Boppy pillows, both the nursing pillow and the lounger. If you're new here, my name is Ebeth, and on this channel, I post a lot of mom lifestyle content and detailed reviews just like this one. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. First, let's talk about the nursing pillow. <laughs> I feel like this pillow is the most common for the Boppy brand. I've seen it everywhere. You can get it pretty reasonable between 20 and 40 bucks, depending on where you're buying it from, what cover you get. This is great. It's meant to be a nursing pillow, although it looks like a travel pillow. It's meant to go around your waist, right under your chest to help support baby while you're breastfeeding them. And actually does a great job at that, but it's not just a nursing pillow. You can use it for so many different things. And they've done a great job explaining that on this little tag here that they've attached to the pillow so you don't forget at what development stage your kid is, how you should use this pillow, and how it can assist you. It's really helpful when you're trying to breastfeed. It helps you not hunch over so much which is definitely a problem that I personally have. But then also when you use it as a baby tummy time support or when baby is able to sit up by themselves, you can use it for back support. And it's just very versatile and it is very comfy. It's nice, it's good. I could take a nap with it and be comfy. And also the cover is removable. So that is a great thing. You guys know having a baby is, is a messy job. Hi, Kenna. <laughs> this is the Bobby lounging pillow and it's just that it's meant to lounge lounge it's meant for lounging it has a big indent here in the middle so that baby's booty can sit in there comfortably and it definitely is thick this is a thick pillow so that baby is not laying flat on their back they're a little more elevated um, which could be nice, especially if your baby's having a lot of like acid, acid reflux or something like that and you don't want them laying flat. This pillow could help a lot with that. But it is a lot more limited in how you can use it. This tag on the side of the lounger says like, don't use it like this, don't use it this way, don't use it this way, as opposed to the nursing pillow says, use it like this. <laughs> and right now at the stage that McKenna's at, she's starting to get really confident with rolling over and kicking her strong legs. So using the lounger is a little more risky at this phase. However, in the newborn phase, it's excellent. And then after, when she starts being able to crawl or even walk, the lounger can be used again, but it's definitely on hold right now in this phase, or we just have to be right by her or keep our eyes peeled on her while we're using it now because, you know, she's exploring her capabilities. While we have really enjoyed using both of these pillows for both of our babies, I don't think either of them are absolutely necessary, but they are helpful depending on what your needs are. Um, but I will say if I had to pick one of them over the other, I would go with the nursing pillow because of the versatility of it. It's just a lot more useful. The lounger is nice, but it's just a lounger. That's all it is. So take it or leave it. I hope this video was helpful for you. For a full list of my baby recommendations, including these boppy items, check out the link in the description box below. If you have any other questions about these products, I'll do my best to answer them. So make sure you leave it in the comments down below. And until next time, stay awesome, be you, and keep loving Jesus, boo. <laughs>